heteroscedasticity. What do you mean by heteroscedasticity? Well, if you remember, in our classical linear regression model assumptions, we have made a very important assumption, which was that variance of ut given xt is equal to sigma square for all t. Okay, well, note that I have not written it sigma square i, which would have changed, or sigma square t, which would, which would have changed for every observation. Okay, this was not the case. The case is that all observations, all error terms have same variance. Okay, let me write it for you. They have same variance. This was the assumption of homoscedasticity. Homoscedasticity. That would mean dispersion is equal across all observations across all observations okay now now we're going to look at the cases in which this variance of ut given xt is not sigma square but it become sigma square i or sigma square t that is it changes with observations okay it changes with observations variance is not same is not same across all observations okay now if we have this kind of a scenario then how do you look at the problem so let us give you some of the very classic examples okay now example is example is that supposedly if there are low income households low income households and there are some high income households Okay, now if you look at the consumption pattern of low income households, what do you find? You find that major proportion of their income is being spent on food or on some other necessity items. Okay, necessity items. So it is, there is not much variation. not much variation in their consumption patterns while if you look at the high income households you find them that they are not only spending on necessity items they're also spending a lot on the luxury items okay supposedly both of us you and I are belonging to high income households. Now, I may be spending on car, you might be spending on bike. I may be spending on small home, you might be spending on big home or whatever, okay? But these are luxury items, fine. You might be going to a very big restaurant, fine. But you cannot expect that from a poor household or a low income household. So there might be a huge variation there might be huge variation in high income households. So what we have learned is that there might be very high variability in consumption pattern of high income households. Now here in this case, in case of high income households, what do you find is that the assumption of assumption 
of homoscedasticity. is false. You cannot assume the same variability across households. Okay, so here and such a situation is called heteroscedasticity. Heteroscedasticity or what do you mean by that as unequal? Unequal scatter okay now well apart from that is you have some let us uh, just formally define what is heteroscedasticity okay I don't know whether I'm writing the spelling for this is uh, this is right or wrong now ut is a random variable ut is a random variable with e of ut given xt equals to 0 that is error terms on an average they are equal to 0 and here the assumption changes variance of ut given xt which is also equal to e of ut square given xt is equal to sigma square t for t equals to 1, 2, 3 and so on to n. If there are n observations, so remember this. This is this has each observation has different variance okay so first observation might have the variance of sigma square 1 sigma square 2 and so on to sigma square n and this is the assumption of heteroscedasticity okay